Playing for your country means absolute everything. Um, as a young boy, you, you dream of playing for your country. Um, you dream of walking out at Wembley. If you speak to any England player, new players, old players who comes into the camp, they all feel welcome. Um, they all feel like they want to be part of the group. When I first met him and trained with him at England, I was surprised at how good he was. Um, but no, when he went to Real Madrid, I knew he'd go and excel. Um, and I'm sure he will for many more years because he's, a, he's an unbelievable player. The journey that we've been on as a group over the last three tournaments, obviously quarter-final, semi-final, final, penalties, um, to go and lift, lift the trophy would be the, the perfect ending to the journey. The expectations for the country are obviously high. I mean, Magona is one of the favourites. Um, how special is it to play for your country? Yeah, playing for your country means absolute everything. Um, as a young boy, you, you dream of playing for your country. Um, you dream of walking out at Wembley. Um, I've been fortunate to do it many times now. So, you know, it's, uh, I'll forever be, be grateful uh, to have the opportunity. Um, and even in the future, every game um, means so much. And um, I'm sure every young boy, his dream who goes to school is to play for the country, and rightly so, because it's a, it's a, it's a real proud moment for myself and also uh, your family as well. And has it changed, because you've been involved with this, the squad for quite a long time now, when you first broke into, into the national side, has things changed while Gareth's been in charge? What has he done to, to change things around the camaraderie of the place, I suppose? Yeah, I think when Gareth first came in, I think he, he, he wanted to bring the, the group together. He wanted to make it more welcoming. He wanted to make the camps more enjoyable for players to come into and, and feel more relaxed. And he did that for sure in the first couple of years. And I think that culture has then just grown and grown. Um, and I think if you speak to any England player, new players, old players who comes into the camp, they all feel welcome. Um, they all feel like they want to be part of the group. We want players to feel comfortable off the field because we want them to go and play well on the field. Uh, we all want England to, to win, whether we're playing or not. We're big England fans. And I think that's the culture that we need to, to be successful. Because mm -hmm. in the past, those camps, there was, there was a bit of a, a divide, wasn't there? And I think that was a big thing for Gareth because he was involved in that as a player. And I think that was one of the big things he wanted to change. So, you know, when, when he's saying that younger players are being given their opportunity or they're welcome, if you like, that must be a great feeling. It must be nice to be involved as well. Yeah, definitely. I can only speak on behalf of when I first came into the camp six, six years ago um, and I felt so welcome. Um, but yeah, I think Gareth's probably recognised how it was when he was playing and what he needed to change first and foremost to, to get the culture right and to get the environment right. Um, and yeah, credit to, to him and also all the team behind it. Um, they, they certainly did that. And you've been involved in, in tournaments already. Um, they, they can be long, can't they? And obviously you want to get to the very end. You want to pick up the, the trophy at the end of it. How do you all keep yourselves entertained away from training and away from the matches? Yeah, I think um, obviously tournaments, like you said, they, they can be long, but you, you are playing every four or five days, so you, the preparation is key. Um, but yeah, I think the boys get on really well with each other. There's some, a lot of great relationships. I think last World Cup in Qatar, we played the game Wolf quite a bit. Mm. Um, but yeah, I'm sure there'll be a new game coming to the camp for, for, for the Euros in Germany. Um, but yeah, I think the, the team bonding exercises uh, during uh, the camp is, is really important, um, not just to sit in your room and, and be on your own, to come out and socialise. And I think as a group, we always do that. And I think that's from making people feel welcome and, um, and everyone just having great relationships with each other. Everyone's, everyone's mates in the squad. Um, and yeah, everyone looks forward to seeing each other. And I think every, every, every nation needs a, a world-class player and I think we're quite fortunate. We've, we've probably got a few of those, haven't we? <laughs> I mean, the squad itself looks incredible and which is obviously why, why we're down as one of the favourites to go and win the, the tournament. Um, can I just touch on Jude Bellingham? I mean, has, has he surprised you at how good he is on and off the pitch? Um, he surprised me when I first played with him and met him, but since I trained with him for the first week, I knew what he'd go on to, to achieve. Um, he's a great presence, he's a great presence to have in the, in the dressing room, to walk out of the tunnel with um, and to be on the pitch with. Mm. Um, and then with that presence, he brings the, the talent that he has, the personality that, that he has on the pitch. Um, and yeah, like I said, 
when I first met him and trained with him in England, I was surprised at how good he was. Um, but no, when he went to Real Madrid, I knew he'd go and excel. Um, and I'm sure he will for many more years because he's, a, he's an unbelievable player. And, and we are one of the favourites to, to win the Euros. Who, who would you say are the, the biggest threats to England? Listen, yeah, I think we, we are a strong squad. Um, we're one of the favourites, of, of course, with what we've done in the last three tournaments. Um, but there's some very, very good teams. Um, so we can't get carried away because it's going to be very tough to, to win a Euros. It, it always is. Um, you've obviously got your France, they're going to be there. Um, Portugal are looking very, very strong. Mm. Um, and obviously the, the host, Germany, you've got Spain who are always there in big tournaments. There's numerous teams. I, I believe there's six, seven teams will be going to the tournament thinking that they, they could win the tournament. Mm. And we're one of them. Um, so we've got to go there and perform. And, and what would that mean for you to, to get to the end of that tournament and lift that trophy? No, it'd be unbelievable. Um, the journey that we've been on as a group over the last three tournaments, obviously quarter-final, semi-final, final, penalties, um, to go and lift, lift the trophy would be the, the perfect ending to the journey. Um, so, no, it's a, it's a huge privilege to, to play for your country, to walk out um, and play in a friendly for your country, but to walk out and obviously get to a final and lift the trophy would be an unbelievable achievement for everyone involved and, and the, the whole nation. Harry? Absolutely brilliant. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.